Hi there guys, um, just a quick video today. Today we're going to be talking about uh, power and how we can charge all of our devices that we use whilst we're enjoying the outdoors. So nowadays, we're using more devices while we're outside. You know, we're, we want to show people where we've been, we want to document what we've done, we want to make videos, we want to take pictures. There's so much more electrical items that are used out, outdoors now. So obviously, you know, you need the power to go with you. So while we're out, are we carrying enough power to power all of these devices? Let's say we're out for four days. You know, you've got a phone, you've got a camera, you might be have a drone. Um, you need to recharge these devices, especially if you're relying on devices for navigation. Obviously, you shouldn't fully rely on this uh, solely for these devices for navigation. You should always have a backup with you, i.e. a map, compass, that sort of thing. But um, obviously, you're going to need to recharge these devices. So I've got a few things that I use, um, and I just wanted to share those with you today. Um, it also depends on how long you're going out for um, and what you've got on route whilst you're walking. Is there the possibility of recharging these devices on route? If there's not, what do you use? So, the first device I've got, this is a 20,000 milliamp battery pack. Okay, um, This device here, this weighs 441 grams. So this is quite heavy, especially if you're trying to go lightweight. But then again, if you're going lightweight, you wouldn't be carrying all of these devices that you're, uh, you're wanting to use to, to document your, your travels. So this device here, this can basically, over the course of four days, this can keep my iPhone charged, this can keep a GoPro charged. So this is a really, really good device. So this is a 20 milliamp, uh, sorry, 20,000 milliamp battery pack. Um, I think this cost about 20, 25 pounds a couple of years ago. Now, as devices get better and you sort of upgrade your devices, you're going to need more power to go with it as well. So, what I'm looking at today, and recently I've been flying this whilst I've been out, so this is a DJI Spark. Um, each battery on this lasts about 15 minutes. There are other drones out there that uh, the batteries will last longer. I really wanted this drone for the size of it and the weight of it. This weighs about 300 grams. So obviously when you're doing a four or five day hike, wild camp, that sort of thing, you want to try and keep your weight down as much as possible. So hence the reason I went for the DJI Spark. Now, I've got three batteries for this. With 15 minutes, that's not a great deal amount of time to be able to, um, to fly it and get the pictures that you want. There are ways to charge it up en route. Obviously, if you come across a cabin or you, you're, you're staying in a cabin or you come across a hut that has power, you can always ask if you can charge or if you're staying overnight, you can charge these things up. But obviously, that would mean taking more things with you. I mean, the, the power pack that comes with this, that's something else that you'd need to carry if you uh, wanted to charge all three batteries at the same time. The DJI Spark has a little port at the back which is a micro USB so you can charge this direct okay it does take a little bit longer than what the what it charges off the power pack but you can charge this straight so I've been thinking can I charge this off a battery pack um, is it going to provide enough power to charge this one two times and am I going to have enough power to be able to charge the, my other devices at the same time so I plugged this into the power bank the other night and it basically took overnight to charge this one battery. So I started to do a bit of research and it basically turns out that the battery pack that I've got is um, not quick charge. So looking into it further, you need a battery pack that is quick charge 3.0. So it comes out of the Amazon account again. So delivery from Amazon came. So this is another 20,000 milliamp battery pack. This one weighs 255 grams, where this one weighs 441. So there's a big, big difference in weight for the same milliamps 
uh, within the battery. So this one is quick charge compatible. Um, I've been out this morning, just I took the drone out for a little fly. Um, I've killed one of the batteries down, so what I'm going to do now is just plug this into the quick charge port and we'll see how long it takes uh, to charge the battery up. So we'll plug this in. So the orange port on this one is the fast charge. And we'll plug this into the back of the spark. And then we'll just get the timer on. And we'll start. So other options that you've got, um, obviously you can limit how much power you're using. So with your LCD screen, like on the camera that I'm using at the moment, you can set this so that the, the LCD screen goes off within a minute. So that's saving on battery power as well. Um, with your, your iPhone, make sure you kill all your apps. Um, you can set it onto battery save mode. Um, if you're out in a field where you're not going to be using um, the, the phone signal, you can set it onto airplane mode. So that's going to limit how much battery you're using as well. So what I'll do is hit airplane mode, I'll hit battery save mode, and then just make sure that the screen contrast is down as well. You'll be surprised how much juice that that saves just by doing that. So other options that you've got, you've got these little tiny battery packs. This one is 2,200 milliamps in here. This weighs 63 grams, so this is next to nothing. So I'll charge this, and I'll basically leave that in my bag somewhere, just on an emergency, just in case I need to recharge the phone. Um, or if you come across that shot where you've got no power, that you think, okay, I need a little bit of juice here. Something else that I've got, um, which is an option, is one of these solar chargers. Okay, this one is by a company called Portapow, and what I do with this is I'll use this, this weighs uh, 430 grams I think this one does so what I'll do with this is I'll clip this onto the back of the bag if you open this one up you can see you've got the two panels inside there and on the back you've got a pocket on the back and that's where your USB, um, your female USB is here. During the day I'll just plug in the battery pack shove that in the pocket and then that can then be clipped onto the back of my bag so that's going to trickle charge the, um, the battery inside it during the day so this solar panel, this is 7 watt, I can actually plug my mobile phone directly into this during the day and this will charge off the panel. Uh, I can plug in the GoPro battery charger and that will charge straight off the, uh, the solar panel. So there are an option there that you can charge directly off the solar panel itself. But I always find it's best to plug the battery into the solar panel and charge off the battery whilst you're on the move if you are. So, obviously these things depend on how much light you've got. Um, I'm heading out to northern Sweden in the summer or in June, so we've basically got 24 hours of daylight out there. So this will be a case of trickle charging batteries during the day, and then I can stick this outside the tent, um, weather dependent. I don't think this one is waterproof. I wouldn't think it is, to be honest. So, um, obviously weather dependent, I can hopefully get a charge and restock that uh, power bank during the night as well. So there we have it, uh, the battery on the Spark's charged, so the timer says um, an hour and 20 minutes. 
Um, so it was charging the second LED, so it had three LEDs to charge on uh, on the Spark there. Um, it's used one bar on the battery, so it looks like I can probably get up to four charges off that uh, 20,000 milliamp um, battery pack. So just to summarise this uh, power really, um, so make sure you've got a fast charge 3.0 battery pack if you want to charge your um, um, a drone battery off there. Um, it's just all about weight really and how much you're going to use your battery. So just it's trial and error and, and just see how you get on. But uh, I'd recommend 20,000 milliamp uh, fast charge battery pack. Um, if you're further out in the field, take out a solar panel if you think that's going to do you some good. But just make sure you've got enough battery for all your devices that are going to keep you safe. Hope that's been helpful and uh, check out some of the other videos if you fancy uh, seeing what else I get up to.